Well, hello there. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the Carousel Pony. It's American folk art at its finest. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it. So, what I did was, I invented this really cool walkie-talkie that brings kids and people back from the 18 to 1900s. Let's give it a try. Hello, Phineas, can you hear us? Well, hello, Phineas, can you hear me? Hi, my name is Christopherson. So tell the class a little about yourself, Phineas. My name is Phineas Barnum, and I work here on the carousel at the carnival. You pulled me from the year 1927. What year is it now? Where did you bring me to? I figured what better way shall we learn about ponies than a person who made the ponies. So, can you tell us a little bit about these lovely carousel ponies? Well, young man, there's three types of carousels. First is the standing, where the horses don't actually move up and down. Then there's the standards, where two legs are on the ground and the other two are up, going up and down. And the last one is called the prancers. That's where all four legs are going up and down all together. It's far and away the best carousel ride. Yeah, that's terrific, Phineas. What type of material do you use to carve these lovely ponies? I really am intrigued. Most of our carousel ponies are made out of basswood. Basswood is a very soft wood, which is easy to carve with your knife and chisels and hammers and all the tools that the artists use. Some of the things that they would carve on it were cherubs, eagles, flags, griffins, and many other fanciful creatures. Mm. Unfortunately, because basswood is so soft, it would not hold up in the weather outside at the carnivals too well. Rain, third graders, snow, everything else would just beat on my carousel ponies and they would have to be fixed and repainted and eventually thrown away. But you know what? If you can find an old carousel pony from my time now in proper condition, it is worth up to $30,000. That's like 17 million in my time. Oh wow, very interesting. So here's a question that's on, I'm sure, everyone in this class's mind. So what styles do you paint these ponies? Young man, there's three main decorating styles of the carousel ponies. First is the Philadelphia style, where they have very sweet faces, and they're elegant and pretty. The second style is called the Coney Island style, and that's where the horses are wild and angry looking. The main final style is the Western Country Fair style and that was more of a western looking cowboy horse that was not very detailed because that's the main kind that was packed up and moved when the carnival would move from town to town. So, Phineas, where does the word carousel come from? Where does the word carousel come from? Mmm. Actually, it's based on an Italian word and it means little war. And they called it that because in ancient times in Arabia, Riders would ride around in a circle, like the carousel, and they would throw perfume-filled clay balls at each other, and if you were hit, you were out of the game. So, how do you think the carousels have evolved? I know I just zapped you from like way back when, and you have no idea what's even going on nowadays, but like... Carousels were changed to what they are today by the French. They made it a fancy thing where they dressed in their fancy clothes, and they made the horses fancy, and they rode around parading themselves. So, Phineas, I heard the pony carvers were lazy. Is that true? Most of the carousel horses of my time were carved by Eastern European craftsmen. And if you look closely, the outside of the pony that you see from the outside is very detailed and elaborate, but the inside, not so much because it takes hours and days and weeks to carve one single pony. So what you're saying is they were lazy. Hmm. Young man, I don't have time to be here. I've got to get back to fixing my carousel. Will you please send me back to my time? Thanks so much for taking the time. Now which button exactly was it? 
Hmm. I guess we'll try this one. Whoops, wrong one.